Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys my October TBR. Um, for this month I'm doing a trick or treat TBR team challenge. So we got our prompts about um, an hour ago. This is being filmed on Saturday, so it'll be up tomorrow, which will be Sunday. Um, so we got our prompts. I know what um, prompt list I'm going with but I don't know what book I'll be starting yet so this is just my tentative October TBR so the first book I plan to read in October is My Gal Sunday by Mary Higgins Clark this book actually has four books in it so um when I get to this one and when I log them on Goodreads and Storygraph and Instagram, I'm going to add those as separate books to read as well as this one. Um, I'm a big Mary Higgins Clark fan. As many of you know, I was heartbroken when she passed away last year. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this one. This one really doesn't say if it's part of a series or not, but it does have um, the detectives I'm familiar with that she's written about before. So I'm really looking forward to this one. And this book is super old because it was by Walden Books. And Walden Books has been closed in my area for like 10 to 20 years now. Next one I'm going to read will be The Secret of the Mansion by Trixie Belden. I have never read this book, this book series before. Um, this is actually from the 70s. So I'm, I think... My mom may have read this when she was growing up, or my aunt had, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm really looking forward to read this one. This is book one in the series, so if I end up liking this one, I'm definitely going to try and read the other books in the series this month. The next one I plan to read is Something Wicked by Lisa Jackson. Um, I, I think this is my first Lisa Jackson book that I'll be reading. I haven't read any by her before, so I'm really looking forward to this. This one is um, set in Oregon, and it's basically about a cult, which I've never read a book about a cult before. Um, and then this woman finds out that she's pregnant, and so this detective wants to wrap up all the paperwork um, about this case and all that. And so this looks very interesting. I can't wait to read it. Next one I'll be reading, which I received through Instagram, is The Monster of Cumberder. I don't know how to pronounce that last word. Um, but this is by EPG Briars. He is a author in the UK. My friend on Facebook and Instagram, Natalie Burgess, she had actually sent me this info about this book to read it for her friend. Um, who's the author and so I'm really looking forward to reading it in October and hopefully I will like it. Next one I'm going to read will be Living Dead in Dallas by Charlene Harris. I absolutely love the Aurora Tea Garden series, movie series that was on Hallmark so I'm really looking forward to starting this series. I know that this book is, I don't think it's number one no, it's number two in the series, so I will be reading um, the ebook of book one for October, and then I will dive into this one. The next one I'll be reading will be Against the Wind by Amanda Clot. I won this through Library Fame last month. Um, I'm this is book two in the series, so I plan to read the ebook of book one before reading this one next month and this one is basically about a doctor in training um she's stuck in Sweetwater Crossing I'm not exactly sure where that's set but it looks like it's down south or something um and she has to save this man's life um but little does she know that he brings both love and danger into her life so it basically talks about that Next one I'll be reading, which I won through Kensington Publishing um, a few months ago, is The Novelist in Berlin by V.S. Alexander. This came out last month, the end of last month, so I'm really looking forward to reading it. 
um, this will be my first D.S. Alexander novel, so if I really like it, I will definitely read more of her books. Um, this one is set in 1920s Germany during the Great War, um, so basically it's, like, kind of like World War, um, era, uh, historical fiction, and since I love that era, I think I will really like this one. Next one I'll be reading, which there's a funny story behind it, is um, The Only Girl in Town by Ali Condi. This I won through Dutton Publishers, which is part of Penguin Teen Publishing. And um, I received this one in the mail back in July. But when the package came, my name wasn't on the package. My address was, but my name wasn't. So I called them and I told them they said they would send me out a new copy with my name on the package and to just donate this copy. That was two months ago. I still have not received that copy. So I think the guy on the phone lied to me about it or what. Um, I have to contact them still, but I will be reading this one. This is a teen thriller about a girl and her friend who have always been by each other's side. But she's all alone now because her friends have moved away. And so now she's trying to, um, she wants to get them back for moving away. So it's kind of like a Mean Girls themed thriller. I'm really looking forward to reading it. Hopefully it'll be really good. Next one I'll be reading, which I, I received through Traveling Page Tours, was Gothic Revival by Michael Mullen. This is part of a book tour I'll be doing in October, middle of October, I think. I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Normally, I'm not a gothic reader, but I will give this one a shot because um, it it's basically like a werewolf-themed fantasy, so I'm really looking forward to this one. It's basically about a group of friends who are in a creative writing class. Um, and then they basically find out that, um, there's this literary event that was created, um, for Frankenstein. So it goes and talks about that, and they go in this haunted house, and so I'm really looking forward to reading this one. The next ones I'll be rereading this month will be The Hunger Games. I'm really looking forward to rereading The Hunger Games. Um, it's been five years since I last read it. Um, I usually watch the movies, like, whenever they're on TV or whatever, even though I have them on DVD. Um, but I'm really looking forward to rereading The Hunger Games, and then I plan to read the prequel about President Snow. Snow. So I'm hoping to do that in October. Um, and the next one I'll be rereading in October will be The Wicked Deep by... Shen Earnshaw. Um, it's been five years since I reread this. Since I read this one, um, this one, as you know, if you're familiar with Shen's books, this one is just my favorite by her. Um, I plan to reread it, and then I want to read the other books that she has written, which um, one is Winterwood. My friend Madison, that's on Instagram, Goodreads booktube um she's actually reading winter wood right now and so i'm really anxious to read that i'm really anxious to hear what her thoughts on it will be um but yeah i plan to okay this one doesn't list all her books but um yeah i plan to reread this one and then um check out the rest of shen's books so that is my tbr for october um, October is usually a so-so month for me because at the end of the month, it'll mark two years ago that I last was able to visit my dad in the hospital before, at the time I didn't know, he passed away. So, um, the end of October won't be really good for me, but I'm hoping the, be the first couple weeks of October will be fun because I get to plan what I'm going to be reading um, my mom and I are going on a day trip with my dad's cousin and my mom's classmates, um, 
to Pennsylvania to visit the one of the 9-11 um, memorial sites, so that will be fun. Um, we're actually going on Tuesday, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I already planned my Halloween movies that I plan to watch. Um, I'm actually starting tonight. I'll be watching some Hallmark mystery movies, and then I'm going to switch over to the Disney ones. And then I'm going to watch um, the Halloween saga movies um, probably sometime next week. So that's my plan for October. Um, if there's any books here that I mentioned that you guys have read or that you're interested in reading, let me know in the comments below. I'm really looking forward to rereading a lot of these and reading a lot of them. Um, I guess that's it for now. I hope you guys have a good October. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!